Hey guys, what's up? Steve Jobs was just on stage at their March 2nd Apple event and he announced the iPad 2 and what it has to offer. So today I will be going over some of those new features and what they are. First of all, some of the new features are FaceTime, smart covers, and a 10 hour battery. The iPad 2 will be starting at $499 just like the regular iPad 1. The iPad 2 will come in black and a new color white like we've seen with many other Apple devices. It will have a new design being a lot thinner and it will have a flat back. I will miss the rounded back but hopefully the flat back won't be too much of a problem. It will have a dual core Apple A5 processor meaning that you will get about double the power from the old iPad A4 chip. It will have a super long 10 hour battery, but this is most likely tested doing regular day to day stuff such as websites, email stuff, not watching HD videos or anything like that on your iPad. There is a new accessory called the smart cover, which is a magnetic cover for your iPad. No, it is not a case, but it's a cover that simply at attaches to the side of the iPad and you just roll it out on top. And if you take it off and you roll it up, it can act like a stand. The iPad 2 will have the instant on feature that, like we saw on the 2010 MacBook Air. Also, there will be the Wi-Fi and of course 3G models. There will be a 3G model for both Verizon and AT&T. The iPad 2 will have a gyroscope and accelerometer like on the iPhone 4. They advertise this with quote, iPad knows your every move, end quote. And that may sound a little weird, which it does to me, but I guess the iPad really does know your every move with the new compass, gyroscope, and accelerometer. Also, the iPad 2 will have FaceTime, allowing you to make calls on your iPad to an iPhone, Mac, or another iPad. Apple did also decide to put in an HD back-facing camera and a regular VGA front-facing camera. So you will be able to take HP the video from an iPad which to me doesn't sound the most logical way of taking videos mainly because who wants to hold a huge tablet like that and be taking videos. I can understand it for some cases but for most cases I won't be using that feature. I will most likely be picking up this iPad too because it will be coming out March 11th 2011. I will be picking it up trading in my old iPad first generation for it. Tell me if you guys are going to get it. It seems like a very nice new product and seems like a very good grade markup from the original iPad first generation. I'll see you guys later. This has been a video by RJ Hate HD. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a nice day. Bye.